Come on then, it's been nearly two years, it's the one you have all been waiting for. It is part two of the roof deck. By the way, skylight. Oh yeah. Oh, do we need a tape measure? Yes. So we're going to be continuing with our DIY roof rack. So we started this about two years ago at the beginning of the van build, and we are finishing it at the pretty much very end of the van build, the few days from moving in. This is going to be the basic version of our roof deck. It's going to span all the way from the back of the van here, all the way to our skylight here. Okay. So this is about a third of the van. And the design that we have figured out is actually quite modular. So once we have figured out how to tilt our solar panel safely, we can then work on extending the roof deck because of the modular way we're going to build it, which I'm gonna show you downstairs where it's less windy. <laughs> It is big enough. Just. So the legs of our, our roof deck is going to consist of <laughs> is going to consist of uh, aluminium and some steel uni struts. So essentially, it's supposed to be a rather simple co uh, construction, and as we assemble it, I'll tell you how it's supposed to work. But the gist of it is, so this is a small cross section of the same aluminium here. All you do is you pop one end of this bar on one uni strut yep. and you use these L, L brackets to bo bolt it in place and that's about it FYI this is not a tested structural you know contraption so this is just an experiment okay so just a disclaimer don't try this at home unless you you think it's gonna work and you know what you're doing or you know better but well, we think this is going to work, obviously, but this is just an experiment for us, so we don't know the results until we have tested it for a year or two. Step one, we mount the aluminium bar onto the uni strut. As you can see, uh, this is slightly the, the wrong height, so we're going to actually raise it like this. And then before we install it onto the roof, we're going to put a wedge underneath here. Then we grab our 50mm uh, bolt, get our penny washer on drive this bolt to the freshly drilled holes and pop your uncle. Then we have another penny washer, then this spring thingy which I believe goes here underneath the nut, like this essentially. This is a thread locker. So this should stop the bolt coming loose from vibration. Cool. Okay, so that is this section. Now, to attach this to this, we use these. Yeah, that's about right. All right. There we are. That's one side. But essentially, there you go. One end, second end, and then um, a deck leg. Should work looks about the same as the other ones, if a bit more crudely made and not cast. It, it, actually, let's see how, how heavy it is. So without, 71.15, then with, 73.1, so about two kilos. I mean, we're trying to keep it as lightweight as we can because we want to keep our van under the weight limit, so I think two kilos is pretty good. So that's 12 kilos for, 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 for the legs and about 18 for the top. For the 18 for the ply. That's 30 kilos. 30 kilos. 
that's be that's what it's going to be all right well let's get these six legs done and then we can hop up on the roof and put them in place so we can measure our actual deck Somewhat cold, but the legs are done. Now we need to dry fit them. All right, let's pop the ladder up so to get so we can get on the roof. Sam, I'm talking to myself. All right, let's get the ladder. Okay. We spent ages looking for a ladder that will basically be suitable for inside the van. Uh, that can actually be stored inside the van because we don't have a lot of uh, storage space. We don't have a big garage at all. So this is the result of days and days of searching for a ladder. Uh, it is an extendable one. Um, so let's see if, how easy it is to open. one of the lighter ones it has a uh, thinner leg so it's much more manageable all right let's give it a go This is not a good time to be up here. Are you filming? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look how slippery it is, guys. I'm literally sort of not able to move. Uh, snowball fight! The thing is, I'm not wearing the most slip resistant shoes, I'm wearing Crocs. Yeah. They're not, they're not the warmest either. Well,. I don't know how much this can with he helping. Wow. Sorry. Are you getting a lot of ice in the van? Well, you're welcome. So it begins. terrain here I feel inclined to give a disclaimer that um, we're not professionals that uh, this is a complete experiment and that you come on your icy roof at your own risk <laughs> you know <numpties. laughs> <laughs> but because we want to leave so badly we want to live in our van we want to get this done we're here in near zero weather doing this <laughs> so let's see whether these legs fit and then bolt them in and measure so um, oh, yeah. um, and yeah. since the last thing that you saw, we bolted the legs, the, these uh, unit short feet right at the edge, as you can maybe see, there's an extra hole here. Then we realized that uh, our uni strut on the roof that we put in a year and a half ago is, uh, what is it, 136 centimeter apart instead of 150. So um, we had to do it all over again. Yeah, we had to do all the holes again uh, and essentially yada, yada, yada. It's the same thing, it's only eight centimeters in. Um, I knew that before we started and I forgot because I was impatient. So, anyway, let's dry fit and see how much they actually align. Oh, yeah. my legs hurt. Okay. Right, so... <laughs> now we get to bolt the legs into our existing roof rack Unistrut. So we got that, save that for later. So now, without moving these ones, because that's what's holding in the leg, we need to put these smaller ones in this black unistrut that's bolted to the roof. You're going to have to use the middle hole and the uh, farther one, because this one yeah. is exactly on, on the join. So if I go, it should be about there, so we'll push that in and twist it. Like that. Alright. So those are there. Okay. You pop that on top? 
So if we put that on top, you can see the middle one's the best example. We need to put a bolt through that. Put the thread locker on the bolt, penny washer there. All of that goes in. This is quite the jigsaw puzzle. There's many pieces and they all have to go in at exactly the right time. Otherwise you can't reach a bolt or you can't tighten this or something gets out of alignment. That back on. So you've got longer bolts to go through this bracket and the thicker unistrut, but these bolts don't go into the black unistrut on the roof, if that makes sense. So these bolts hold the leg to the big unistrut and then the other bolts hold the big unistrut to the small unistrut. It's all connected. <laughs> so again, uh -huh. thread locker on everything to stop it loosening. And these are all galvanized bolts, so they shouldn't rust either. This is the hardest point, trying to thread this into the spring thing. All right. Because you don't want to double thread it and you don't want to twist the spring underneath. Otherwise it won't grip the unistrut properly and then you won't actually get any connection. Now we've done that side and we've been doing the other side at the same time. So this beam is now in and essentially <laughs> it's not coming off the roof. Yeah, so that, that flex, don't worry about it because the ply is going to disperse the weight. Yeah, so in yeah. theory this should not have to feel the full force of us stepping on it because the ply will distribute the weight. But it is strong enough right in the centre for me to stand on it without it breaking. We've done the maths, it's strong enough. Don't worry, the one by the skylight's in too. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, let's bolt the others in, and then we can Okay, so basically, part. yeah, as well, this doesn't actually wiggle. Oh either. yeah, yeah, if I try and, I'll pull up, I'll try and pull it off. There you go, I'm rocking the van. Yeah, stop rocking the van. <laughs> strong enough, seal of approval. By us, mm. by us. By oh, yeah, us, the, fr the frozen. Icicles. Hmm. To be fair, the sun is out. It's beautiful at the moment on the roof. The sun's melted all the ice, so we're warm at the moment. Yeah, let's hurry up because <laughs> we won't be warm in a few hours. No. Right, so we've got three more to bolt on. Let's crack on. Yep. Right, they're bolted in. That is roof rack 1.0. The smallest thing we could build, eventually we'll stretch it at least here and hopefully underneath the solar panels. But right now we're not going to worry about that. Let, let's make this work first. Now we're going to measure the platforms we need from here, this beam, to the center of the double beam. And yeah. then from the center of the double beam to the back of the van. They're relatively parallel, I think. We're about to find out. Alright, mm -hmm. well, let's have a look. So if we measure from there to there... We are at 72.3, and then if we go to the complete opposite end, 74.2. Forget what I said about them being relatively parallel. <laughs> <laughs> They're straight enough. Right, and then you want the back panel, yeah? 67.9, we are at 66.5. So what's the difference? 1.4 centimeters. Well, I'm glad you caught that on camera. <laughs> It's straight! That's much better, is it? It's exact. It's exact? It's exact. 
I measurements work, guys. There you go. I think what would be easier is if you mark some pencil marks for the four corners and we'll screw those in, then it won't move. I have a better idea. I'll lie down and be your vice and clamp and then you can drill around me. I see, what about the one that runs straight through the middle of your body? You don't need that one straight away. <laughs> this is a no shoe deck. The deck boards are screwed down and we decided to give it a light sound because the first coat really got up quite a few of the uh, the bristles in the wood which I didn't think were a problem because I couldn't see them. Um, so we're just going to give it a light sand and another coat of paint obviously. Uh, we were going to do the coat anyway because um, two coats of this paint is better um, but we're going to do a slightly thicker one now because I'm just going to sand a little bit off. Sam's preparing the paint and uh, so it occurred to me that we haven't actually talked to you about the decking material that we're using. Uh, obviously it is ply, it is 18mm plywood. As a general rule, plywood is not a common material for an outdoor deck use. Um, uh, and we spend about a year and a half on and off trying to find different decking materials. And the major issue with uh, uh, for, for us um, was the weight. Um, uh, obviously it's a van conversion, uh, weight is actually a huge issue whenever you're uh, limited to three and a half tons. Originally we wanted to cover the whole roof in a deck and eventually we still might, uh, but that's going to be after we tilt our solar panels. But essentially to cover the whole roof in deck uh, in the timber stuff, it would have been around 150 kilograms. That's a huge no-no. Um, if we went to the composite stuff, it would be around 100 kilograms. Then as we looked into more and more fancy materials and different co composites, we could have sort of dropped the weight to about 80 kilograms for the whole roof. Obviously right now we don't have uh, the whole roof in, in, in plywood, so it's significantly lighter. But even this, even this sort of surface area, the composite would have been around 60 to 40 kilos. That's still really, really heavy for just this little section, which essentially is a glorified lounger uh, on the top of our, our roof. So we're just gonna climb on and sit the way I am or just lounge in the sun. It's, obviously, there's not that much space to walk, so it doesn't really have to be that strong. And that's a general what led us to plywood. Um, our floor is plywood, our walls are plywood, we built, built so many other things of plywood. And the only issue with plywood is being an outdoor material is that it's porous, it's wood and it's soft. So. Uh, but we're like, okay, well, given that it's not a high traffic area, it doesn't really matter. We want to do it on a budget. We're just going to cover it in paint, in waterproof outdoor floor paint. And then Bob's your uncle. And because the legs are relatively close, close to one, to one another, it's about 30 to 25 centimeters apart, there's absolutely no bounce and no given it. So that's the decking material story. It's the primary reason why the deck is taking us so long and the skylight. Uh, we were doing experiments with, with, with doing our own skylight and they were like well we want to move into the van so and we need a hatch to actually get out so we've actually put in we bought a skylight and put one in uh, but until we had the skylight we didn't really know how high to raise the deck um, especially since we want to future proof it for, to extending it because we really want to extend the deck even just halfway um, in the middle of the roof which this is about a third and a bit.
it. I'm out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sam, your turn. One. Oh. Yeah. What uh, is it? Oh. I made space for you to get up. Now, bugger off. <laughs> Yeah. All right, just leaning back on my floor chair. Okay. Still up on the roof. That's a bonus. Okay, well, it's a rather cold day to be testing out the roof deck, but um, you know, one cannot resist. So this is roof deck 1.0. It will hopefully have many versions as the time time goes on. The paint, it will need to be repainted, I think, in the summer. Uh, you can definitely see some, I think, frost damage and some water droplets. Um, but it, I think it's protected enough for, 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 for the time being. Honestly, I'm really happy with, with, with how the ply has, has turned out. It, it's definitely sturdy enough for what we need. And you know, I definitely recommend that if you do want a, a, a deck on your, on your van, not to waste your weight capacity on the proper decking. Um, 80 mil ply seems to cut the job, right? Yeah, yeah. Especially since you, especially if you put in enough beams to basically support it, and if they're aluminium beams, then obviously it's, it's lighter. Um, yeah, so can't, can't wait to use this in the summer. Uh, oh, we can actually put a campfire up here. We, we bought this um, um, cheap, you know, flat pack campfire thing that we might we might uh, try out, uh, but it's too windy to put it put it out now. <laughs> Maybe a cup of tea, you know. Also, I was thinking, umbrella stand, <laughs> right here. Right in the summer, we can sit on our deck chairs. We just can sit here with a book. Just, and just a mount an umbrella stand somewhere, <laughs> and then you have the umbrella do, do its thing up here. So you don't even have to go on the sandy beach if you don't want to get sandy. Just <laughs> park next to the beach, put your umbrella up. Oh. But yeah, other than that, the roof deck is complete, and I guess that is the last big thing that we need to do on the van, isn't it? That's the last big build thing that we had left on our list. Um, shower. Minus the shower. Don't think about the shower. Don't think about the shower. Think about leaving. <laughs> think about summer, roof deck, umbrella, books, tea, ice cream on the roof. And we'll figure out the shower in the coming year. Okay, uh, can we go inside now? It is a bit cold. <laughs> a bit. A bit. Da 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 da.